Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Jonathan Aylin, co-principal cello of the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, and this is the last instalment of this set of video diaries that I've been making about my journey to learn Bach's fifth solo cello suite in C minor. I'd like to say a few words about the performing edition that I use, because there are probably over a hundred different editions uh, of these works, which is quite unusual. And I think the main reason to have so many is that we don't have an autograph manuscript uh, of these pieces in Bach's own hand. So we don't know exactly what he intended as far as articulation and bowings are concerned. We do have uh, four, maybe five other sources, other manuscripts, uh, one from his wife, Anna Magdalena, one from his uh, friend and, and pupil, um, Kellner, and two anonymous uh, editions that, or manuscripts that were made uh, later in the 18th century. But um, we don't have, as I say, one in his own hand. So we are faced as performers with trying to make our own decisions uh, and come to our own conclusions about what we think works works best. So the vast number of editions we have out there reflect a lot of different performers and scholars, their views, uh, but also they reflect performance traditions because the, the first edition that uh, was made was uh, printed in Paris in about 1824. And of course, playing traditions and styles have changed enormously over the last 200 years. So it makes for very interesting reading to see the different editions that we have. The one that I've chosen to use to learn this and, and the other Bach suites is uh, by Berenreiter, and it's the edition that they published in 2000. And the reason I like it so much is that what they do is they, they give you a facsimile of the four sources that I mentioned uh, with all their differences, and they also give you a copy of the first edition that was printed uh, in Paris. And then to play from, they give you a completely blank, well, not, not, not completely blank, it has the notes, obviously, but um, no slurs, no articulation marks in it, so that you can work out exactly what it is you want to do, and then you don't have any other people's uh, slurs or markings to, uh, to go by. So it's a very liberating, um, often frustrating, but always interesting uh, process to compare these different sources and see. And uh, it changes every day. And I, I know from watching previous editions of this uh, video diary that uh, there are already things I want to change about the earlier movements. So we know that the the structure of the Bach suites for the cello is, is quite uniform in the uh, structure of the movements. And so the last movement that I'm going to play today is a gigue. But again, this suite is a little bit unusual, a little bit different in that it's uh, a French gigue. Uh, he didn't write that many of those at all, actually. And so we're very lucky to have one uh, on, for us on the cello. And the the nature of the French uh, jig is that it has this very lilting, uh, almost um, almost sort of jumping character to it, and that's achieved with this this dotted rhythm that he he uses almost throughout. Um, and that figure is used in almost every bar. Um, and it's extraordinary how different a character he can find using the, those, uh, those, those simple, uh, simple motifs. Bach being Bach, however, he does find time to be the genius that he was. And he, at a certain point in the first half and at the end of the first half and the end of the second half of the piece, he suddenly changes things completely and creates what are often called these mega bars and instead of the, 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 the feeling of there being, being one pulse each bar, suddenly he, he strings together three bars and, uh, and it becomes like one giant bar. And this has the effect of almost being, being this long line 
uh, of this, this descending melody. And it's a little bit sort of timeless. And then of course he, he rushes us back in to, uh, to the, the figure that we've heard before. So thank you for watching. Uh, it's been a great pleasure for me to learn, obviously to learn this masterpiece, but also to share my, my what are my first thoughts on, uh, on this with, with you. And um, I thank you for your comments and your feedback and your, your interest. And I know we haven't got off to a great start again this year, but I do hope that uh, we can put last year behind us soon and that we will see you all in concert halls again soon. So for now, keep safe, stay well, take care, and thanks very much. <laughs>